okay there. When you hop on, let me know you're here. I will uh, get started in just a second. We are finishing up the Jippered Lepsy. <laughs> I really hope a lot of people heard that, but nobody's on yet. Um, so this is going to be great whenever uh, people hop on to watch this later. Uh, Gypsy Leopard, not Jipper Lepsy. That's not exactly what I was going for. So, we are going to uh, finish this up with the drizzles. I apologize if this is a weird camera angle. I'm trying to do something different here. Hi, Mary. Hi, Deborah Jo. If y'all hear something in the background, my daughter's actually out here doing homework. <laughs> And she keeps forgetting to take the cup off. Oh, hi, Letitia. I'm glad that you get to catch a little something. I'm just mixing up the last little bit of the epoxy. Hi, Lisa, Stephanie. Uh, so if y'all hear a little clunking sound later, she forgets to uh, take that cup off of the coaster, and it's, like, suctioned on there. Hi, Gianna. So we are going to finish up. Hi, Bernice. We're going to finish up this. We're going to do the um, the stripes on here. I'm not going to put it right here where the um, leopard prints are, or the leopard spots. Thank you, Bernice. That's super sweet. Um, Y'all can see that it's sanded. It's dull. And um, I'm not going to put this. I did record this part of the video, doing the spots, and I'll finish that up later. Um, but for now, we are going to go ahead and put a layer of epoxy over the whole thing. I'm going to go as thin as I can manage right here because I really don't want it to um, spread over there. <gasps> Fran has free shipping? Awesome. Gianna just said that Fran has free shipping right now. That's awesome. I uh, hadn't seen that yet. I haven't been on Facebook much this morning. So I've got, oh my gosh, this thing is rattling. Are you kidding me? Um, I just mixed up 20 milliliters of epoxy. I'm just using, yeah, Lisa, you're going to probably be in as much trouble as me, right? All right, this thing's going to jiggle and I'm going to go crazy. Um... Why is this not playing nice? There we go. I think I got it. So I'm just doing a thin layer on here because if y'all saw either my comments or the other video I did of a Milky Way, I totally forgot to put a base layer of epoxy before I started doing my drizzles. And it looked like little tadpoles on the cup. It was quite comical. So this just allows it to kind of get that more spread out effect. It doesn't need to be thick because we really don't want it swirling around. My goal is to not swirl. <laughs> I'm glad it's not just me, Mary. <laughs> yeah, Gianna, get your stuff. She's going to sell out. Her grand opening is next weekend, but I don't think I get to go because it's my niece's birthday, and so I imagine we'll be doing family stuff instead. I would love to get to go, but I don't think it's in the cards. But I'm going to be in that area the weekend after, so I'll probably do that instead. Y'all let me know if it gets glitchy. Hi, Crystal. I did... Um, um, I did turn off my Wi-Fi on my phone this time. Um, so hopefully that'll work because I know it was glitching out the other day.
Has anybody got anything else going on today? I know this is such a weird time. I don't think I've ever done a Saturday afternoon live. I usually have too much stuff going on. What have y'all got going? Besides, obviously, watching YouTube right now. Any fun stuff? I don't think very many people did very much on Labor Day because it's such a weird year right now. Mm, Crystal, I like to mix more than I need. So for a 20 ounce, 24 ounce slim, how much epoxy to use for doing a galaxy? So I like to put my epoxy on there light enough, uh, heavy enough that my inks will swirl, but light enough that it doesn't fall off. So I would personally mix 30, but probably only use about 20. But I hate when I don't do enough. Okay, so I've got this completely covered now. It's decently thin. <laughs> my daughter just left, and she uh, she didn't take the dog with her. <laughs> He's not very happy about it. Deborah Jo, one of these days I'm going to do a tutorial of how I built the one I'm using, but I don't know when that's going to happen because I can't find all the parts that I want to use. Stephanie, I am not good at um, wreath making at all, so good luck to you. Hi, Debbie. Uh, so yeah, whenever, make sure and post your link. Lisa does a lot of resin stuff too, and uh, I watched a couple of her videos. She does a lot of the same stuff, but everybody does stuff different. So I have a mixed 20. I have more than 10 left so i'm gonna mix it up in a couple of sorry i missed the camera i'm gonna split to uh, three others i'm going to use these three colors hi madeline i'm gonna use these three colors brown burgundy and black i'm really on the fence on if i want to use the white i really don't know if i want to I think I'll leave a little bit of epoxy off to the side um, just in case I need to, but I don't know yet. So I'm just going to pour a few milliliters into each cup, literally like two. It doesn't take a lot. I keep missing the camera. Oh my gosh. I told y'all I was trying a new... Um, a new setup and it's weird and I'm also trying to record what I'm doing on my old phone so it's even weirder because I've got something kind of on my left side and I'm not used to that <laughs> so y'all bear with me I'm gonna try my best not to screw up so I'm just gonna leave a little bit off to the side just in case I need more I don't want to use it all so we're going to take a little bit of mica I'm not gonna do it over the cup so I apologize this overhead view of the cup isn't conducive to holding the whole thing over. So I've got about a flat scoop. If you can see that, it's probably too much, but that's okay. <laughs> Hi, Jessica. So I'm just going to do one little bit of each color. I'm going to do burgundy next. like that. And last one is brown. Hi Rose. Thanks for joining me y'all. I am. Um... Gianna, are you saying that we should do white? Is that... Do y'all agree with that? I'm on the fence. I don't dislike the idea, but I'm a uh... I'm not sold on it either, so we're going to do the brown now. So just mix it up. <laughs> I'm having a moment. Oh my gosh, if y'all get a minute, 
um, later on and you catch the very beginning of this video, uh, I totally said like Jeopard Lipsy or I don't even know what I said. It was funny, what baby? Mixing it up. It doesn't take a lot of this, so it doesn't have to have a whole lot. I just got these colors not that long ago. These are all from friends. Actually need a little bit more in my black that's not very much at all so I I didn't tell you this I did the dots a couple days ago and I epoxied it twice and sanded it so that's the part that you won't see between that last video and this Thank you, Debbie. This is Great Gatsby Gigum Champagne, which is way yellow on screen, but not really so much in person. I don't understand why that looks the way it does, but it's not so much in person. Um, Espresso Shot and Maleficent, those are both holographic finds. Since this is slightly holographic, and this isn't, and this isn't, I went ahead and did holographic on those. Alright, so let's get our brown going. So we are going to do the lines kind of this direction. I think I'm going to go a little heavy handed on this, but I'm going to try my best to stop right around here. We'll see how that works out and right about there. But I'm going to go a little heavy handed compared to my normal. Oh my gosh, I've already messed up. I don't know how some people do it, but I am not afraid to run my um, my star stick over on the epoxy. I'm sure some people don't do it that way. We'll see how it, how it looks and we'll kind of guide it the way we want it. Let's see if I can't salvage that one spot. part about some of these drips is it ends up with a lump and then a tail. That's okay. We're just going to make it do what we want. I really hope this turns out the way I'm envisioning. We're going to see. Madeline, we're finishing up, it's called a gypsy leopard. It's got like a little patch of leopard, and then the rest is like a Milky Way, more or less. Almost done with what I want to do for the brown. Touch more in a few spots. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't forget the bottom, y'all. <laughs> if my swirls end up going into the leopard print on the bottom over here, I'm not going to be sad about it. It's kind of hard to control the bottom. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just take my um, star stick here and just kind of break it up, kind of make the, the clump parts a little flatter, 
before adding our other colors. Because once they start blending a little bit more, it's a little harder to do that without blending the colors. But again, I'm going to try and avoid this area best as I can. And that's kind of one of the other advantages of having that base layer on it. Okay, so we're gonna put brown aside. Let's do some red, because I'm worried about the black taking over the world, because we all know how it does on inks. So let's do some red before we do much else, or before we do the black. It's not an exact match, but it goes, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> We forgot that last time, right, Gianna? So I got brown on the bottom, but not, um, I haven't done the red yet, but I will. Thank you for reminding me. If y'all see me forget something, I'm totally okay with um, y'all telling me that I screwed up. So this burgundy mica really isn't close to the pepper, but it goes really nicely with the Great Gatsby. Jessica, yeah, you definitely need um, mica powders in your future. There's so many options you can do. I've seen people do galaxy tumblers, I mean, uh, northern lights tumblers, and um, kind of all kinds of stuff. You can use them in your molds. I'm going to try not to get very much horizontal dripping on here. I got a little bit right there, but I can fix it. No big deal. Some people like to do their Milky Ways um, with a lot of white, like where you hardly, or a lot of micas, um, where you hardly see the glitter underneath, it just kind of peekaboos. And those can be really pretty. Um, Madeline, I got the purple stitch from kind of a compilation of things. My grandpa had Alzheimer's, and so that color has significance in that realm. It's also it's it's been my favorite color for a long time. But when I chose my business name, I used to have one called Louisville Mommy, which didn't really say anything about what it was, and so um. I um, I used to sew a lot, so that's where the stitch part comes from, and the purple part is really kind of a nod to my grandpa. He was a great man. I miss him a lot. So I'm just breaking up the clump parts. This will flatten out in a little bit, but I'm just breaking up those clumpy parts. We don't want any little tadpole looking things on here. Oh, that's okay, Madeline. Um, I get that question a lot. It's good. I actually almost started crying the other day. It was one of those days somebody had asked me that and I had already been thinking a lot about him and really missing him hard, really hard. And uh, I actually almost started crying during that live. I'm okay. I'm comfortable with my emotional status. It's good. Anytime I've thought about changing it, um, I just don't, because it just means a lot. Uh, Deborah Jo, yes, you can do that. I started um, just a few years ago, whenever I started doing this, it was with the sole intention of teacher gifts. And I started about August or September, and every teacher got one. I can tell that they were my early, get, my early cups, but that's okay. The teachers loved them. In fact, I got an email from the math teacher and the science teacher like six months later telling me how much those cups meant to them because they were like special personalized to their 
likes and their hobbies and their math sub, uh, the science teacher has had like an atom on it or something and they were just so appreciative so yes just because you're starting right now doesn't mean you won't be able to gift them I mean years down the road no there's no telling if you'll be like oh my gosh that was obviously an early cut and that's okay I have to look at some of my very first cups at work all the time from some co-workers and I'm like oh that's such a bad trace job and on one co-worker I totally spelled caffeine wrong on her coffee cup but I left it hi Peggy um so uh, I left it because it was funny I spelled caffeine wrong and you're drinking caffeine and your brain doesn't always work prior to caffeine so it's kind of kind of adds to it so let's do some black I'm gonna try my best not to go too overboard on this let's see how it turns out thank you Bernice I'm so paranoid that I'm gonna forget ah, I got it horizontal that time and accidentally get it on the leopard print. I know it's going to happen, but I'm going to wipe it off when it does. Yeah, I like how this is toning down that contrast a lot. Thank you, Terry. <laughs> Caffeine, it's so good. I have to watch out because sometimes I get a little shaky. And I think that's normal with most caffeine drinkers consumption so my son has ADHD and years ago we traveled to see family and forgot his medication and he's he used to be a lot to handle without his pills that kind of kept him on track and so I would give him coffee and my mom was like, I don't see how that works. I'm like, okay, well, let's just not do it uh, and let you see it. And I'm not kidding y'all, he had coffee like already in his body by the time I got up the next morning. She was a believer. <laughs> it was so funny. It hit some people's brains completely different. big old bald spot right there yeah I really like how that doesn't contrast quite so hard now do you think we should do some light I'm not opposed to the idea I think it might actually look kind of nice especially with the lighter color right here poking through Just a bit here. Ah, I almost forgot the bottom. That's not really going to do a lot of swirling, but it will kind of flatten out. I don't think I have a creamy white, Jessica. I wonder if I add white to the um, the brown that I already have mixed up, because I'm not going to add any more brown. All right, let's let that flatten out just a bit. I missed a big old spot right there. tadpole head over there. I'm sure there's probably a technical term for when there's a big blob and then a tail. 
but Tadpole gets the point across. Okay, so far so good. No casualties right there, but I do feel like that's kind of bold. Let's see if we can get this a little closer to the edge in some spots. Almost got too much black. Let's be done with the black completely. Add a little bit of red over here. Okay. Let's uh, let's see what happens when we add. I've got the last of the um clear. I'm going to add a touch of this and let's make a cream. It'd be funny if I accidentally use glow powder. It'd be interesting for sure. Okay, so there's that. Yeah, I don't think a lot of white. I agree with that, Gianna. Just a teensy bit. So I've got that much mica powder in there. And we're going to do this much brown and just start with that and see if we can make it off-white. Oh, it's kind of pearly. I think this will work. It's not, not white, but it's not gray either. <laughs> I think that'll look all right. Kind of a pearlish gray white let's see what it looks like yeah I think that'll be all right well that's a big blob hi Misty Teensy bit right there, teensy bit right there, and then let's smooth that out and see how it looks. Yeah, it it almost has a silver vibe, but it definitely has a little bit more of a almost a taupe. It's kind of a gray brown, which is really weird. I didn't really expect it to have a kind of grayish tone to it, but it looks all right. Yeah, all right. I think that's all the white we need for the moment. Let's just kind of streak this out just a bit. Some of these bubbles. Just popping the bubbles. Okay, I think that's all we're gonna do on that. I'm liking it. Just gonna let it kind of settle for a bit. Thanks, y'all. I'm glad y'all like it. It's, it's it really came together, I'm not gonna lie. It came together a lot better than I was picturing it, so I'm really glad that that was a pleasant surprise. <laughs> it could have been um, an unpleasant surprise. <laughs> okay, so let's leave that be. Yeah. You still see that Great Gatsby peeking through, and it, yeah, I'm digging it. Let's leave it be. So I'm just going to throw those to the back real quick. And um, let's get this moved off to the side.
So I'm almost done doing my glitter samples. I really, really got behind on that. I won't be doing that again. I'm playing catch up so hard. I'm not very happy about <laughs> what I've had to do. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna let that turn for just a second. I forgot to grab my ink earlier. I've got my cup, I've got my paintbrush. I don't have my ink. Close your eyes, I'm going to move everything. I hate doing that to y'all, but sorry. Right there. Okay. So I am going to put a piece of parchment so that I don't stain this. The epoxy will dry up and flake right off. Oh yay! Hi Jackie! I'm glad you were handy. <laughs> so the next cut to get started is a wood grain. Just a stem, slim travel mug. So I put in the description that it was for an order. It's actually for my dad. He lost his and I'm going to see him next weekend. So, I'm going to see if I can hopefully knock this out. But not if I can't get the ink open. Ugh. Holy smokes, what is happening? Lisa, I have not gotten that collection. I'm so tempted. I'm on the fence because I really, I really like the colors. But I'm on the fence on if I really, really need to spin that right now. Okay, so we are going to, this is kind of awkward, I like to use matte finish on my cups. You can use gloss, but I don't feel like it, okay, this is not, <laughs> I haven't done one in a while, so I'm a little out of practice. Um, the gloss just doesn't, it slides too far, and I don't feel like it dries fast enough. Uh, Deborah Jo, the All-American collection is some glitters that she got from an American glitter supplier, not China. It's just a different feel. Um, it just made different. A lot of people like to support American Made, which is great. And if that calls to you, they have some beautiful colors in that collection for sure. So with this cut, I'm not going to do a a knot on here like I would on most of my wood grains because I am going to put a picture of my parents puppy on here <laughs> they got a Yorkie he's a few months old now and I kid you not that is all they talk about you'd think they had a new baby that's all they talk about is Tonto 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 so he no longer gets his name on his cup it's going to say Tonto's dad because that's what he needs. Um, Mary, I usually save the project. So if you want, I can email you probably. Just message me on my Facebook page. It's also the purple stitch. Lisa, I definitely like the price of the other ones too. I mean, everything made in America is more expensive. It makes sense. But those fines ended up being about the price of the Chunkies, it seemed. I'm on the fence. I may do it, but it might be a little while. I gotta get some orders knocked out and make some money first. So I'm just using the Bria Reese Brown from Hobby Lobby. You can get it at Michael's too. Um, I can't get that spot for some reason. Um, this is just the cheap 50 cent brushes from Home Depot. Nothing fancy. Depending on what I'm doing, 
Sometimes I'll drop it onto the bristles, but usually I drop it onto the cup and just let it kind of go down. There's a couple videos on my channel about wood grains, but some people have made some that are just mind, mind blowingly um, realistic, just beautiful. Debbie, you're right. That is their new baby. It's true. My mom works at a construction company, so she gets to take him to work. How fun is that? He goes everywhere with her, the bank, grabbing donuts. Of course, she leaves him in the car with it running, but so funny. Just, we'll be on the phone. I talk to her every Thursday night on my way home from work, and she, uh, she's just constantly laughing at him, which is great because they need that. Who doesn't need some good laughs right now? They're in their 60s, and so having something like that, cracking them up, it's so great. So that's where we're looking so far. We'll do the bottom later on. Any of you guys that are new or just need a safe place to ask questions and get opinions, we do have a Facebook group. Um, it's called Newbie. Hi there. LWH Creations. If you'll tell me your name, I'll do my best to try and call you that. I have a cheat sheet over here. <laughs> uh, the Facebook group is called Newbie tumblr tutorials and support so if you need a place to ask the stupid questions ask the new questions get opinions whatever um go join the number one rule is you have to be nice if you don't agree to the rule to be nice i'm going to decline it if you invite somebody to the group make sure and tell them to go answer the questions because I'll wait a few days, and if they don't go answer the, that that question is the only one I care about, um, I will go. All right, Leah, I think I can remember that. Um, that's the only rule I really care that gets answered. I don't care about the other ones, like other questions. I mean, that's the only rule. Just be nice. Don't be a jerk. Nobody needs that, especially when you're asking new questions. Some people will jump down your throat not okay. I'll kick people out for that. Yeah, Misty, that's true. The brush makes all the difference. I've seen people do it with a foam brush. That blows my mind a bit. I haven't tried it with that. It's okay that it has that little streaky because that's what it looks like. It's true, Gianna. They do keep you young. It's a moving for sure. They're notorious for just sitting on the couch watching like Hee Haw reruns and Grand Ole Opry and all that stuff. And you can't do that when you have to get up and make sure that he went on the pedal pad and all that. It <laughs> makes them move for sure. That's true, Debbie. Um, they've got a few grandchildren close, but most of us are about 200 miles away. At least until they retire. Then they'll probably move over here. It's true, Mary. Life is too short to be ugly. I've just seen so many other groups. There's a few groups that don't allow that stuff too, which is great. Um, but I've just seen too many where people just kind of rip it somewhere. It's like, okay, they didn't know that they needed to wear a, bento, a mask whenever they were using epoxy. They didn't know that gloves were a must. It's, I mean, we all start somewhere. Okay. I'm almost happy with this. So I'm going to do this one kind of weird. Just going to make a little puddle right there since it has a nice little perfect dip. bad part about doing the bottom is this right here. you got to watch that.
Ooh, I have not tried the T-Rex inks. Is that from like a certain company? Is that the name of the company, Debbie? I've never heard of that. Maybe I have. Maybe this does kind of ring a bell for some reason. I don't know why that rings a bell though. Okay, so now to get those weird spots, I'm gonna actually drop it on my brush and go around here. Just like that. Amazon, okay. Hmm. You know what's so funny, Deborah Jo? Puppy breath smells so good, but it also smells like skunk. How is that possible? Like, skunk doesn't smell good, but puppy breath does, but they're practically the same smell. Is it because subconsciously we know where it's coming from, so we're not as offended? <laughs> That's my theory. All right. We're pretty much done there. My mom said, I have something to tell you. I was like, okay, what's this going to be? And she said, um, he lost his coat. I'm like, oh my gosh, I thought it was going to be something that actually was serious. Uh, I messed it up a little bit. Um, Lisa, post that group, please. That'd be great. I want to join that. Baloney breath. It's true, Amy. It's true. Okay. This is it. That is my wood grain for my dad. That's it. This is why you wear gloves. Last thing I need is a big old brown spot whenever I'm working with patients. Alright, so I'm going to go put this on my stand. And I'm going to show you all the, um, the cup, the people that just joined us. I can see the other cup that we just did. So the base of this, just a couple air bubbles. Okay, so the base of this, the uh, champagne, the maroon, the chunky, those we did in another live the other day. Um, then I added these dots here, just with Mod Podge. I used a holographic brown and black. And then we used our mica powders for this, and I'm, I need to actually fix that right there. I don't want these having a lot of vertical, I mean, horizontal flow. It bothers me when there's just a little patch. Fix it. So the colors that I used are champagne, gigam, but that's not, oh, thank you to Amy. That's super sweet. Um, gigam is the purple, I mean, the maroon. But that's no longer available, but pepper is practically identical. It's like a shade different. Um, and then the chunky is Great Gatsby. If you have a lot of Franz colors, Great Gatsby and Three Sisters is very similar. Three Sisters has a little bit more green of green shift, where Great Gatsby has like no green. I have two... three of the colors right here. I've actually cleaned up a lot. So Maleficent is what I used for the black of the spots. Uh, just right there. I kind of did it the hard way on accident. I should have done the brown and then added the black, but I didn't. And then the champagne is this. It's not so yellow in person. I really hate that it's yellow on screen. Pictures and on screen, but not in person. And then Gigum 
like I said, pepper. There's also a pepper chunky as well. So um, that's it. I'm just going to let this turn and set up. I did not use liquidy split this time because I needed more working time than what that allows. But man, I love that stuff. It'll definitely be what I'm using on that wood grain um, on the next steps after I seal it. Oh, good. Lisa said that pepper is back in stock. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. I'll get it in a minute. So that's it. You guys have a great rest of your Saturday. I'm just going to sit here and kind of fix that just a teensy bit more. I don't have the swirls right there and the clumps. Um, Y'all hang tight or have a, a great Saturday. And I hope to be live again in a few days. I got to figure out what we're going to work on though. Let's see. Misty, I have heard of that. Um, I haven't experienced it. I think it depends on the brand of inks, for one. And I think it also depends on uh, what the sealer is. I've heard some people say that it eventually went back to brown. But for you to say that it didn't means that you already knew that that was a possibility. I'm... I'm paranoid of that happening. The few times that I haven't sealed my wood grains, they spotted up on me and completely got blotchy. Um, so I seal them with Mod Podge just because I'm extra uh, paranoid. Yes, Deborah Jo, heat is um, a mask is a must. I can tell whenever I've done like a video where I just did a little bit and I didn't wear one, my eyes get itchy. And I have had a reaction to epoxy before. It can be no joke. Some people have like straight up asthma symptoms. I was fortunate to not have that severe of a reaction. Um, I don't wear one when I'm not heating just because it's really hard to talk. But um, it's, it's really, really important to use all the proper um, protection for sure. All right, that is it. I mean it this time. <laughs> I've got everything here that I want. I'm just going to work on popping these bubbles just by blowing on them. And um, I'm not going to put any decals on there um, just because this is going to be a ready to ship. I'm kind of thinking, I'm trying to build my ready to ship inventory because I think I want to do a live Facebook sale. I've never done that before, but I have a fair amount of cups that I can um, I can do on that. So, we'll see. But I'll cover this with Liquidy Split um, after this cures, and then that'll be it. It'll be all done. So, if you have any questions, please uh, leave it in the comments. If you need a safe place to go and ask all the new questions, newbie, Tumblr tutorials, and support, answer that first question about being nice or you don't get into the cool club and um, that's it if you like my videos please consider subscribing I would appreciate that oh, I think it glitched because my battery thing came up so I said if you um, need a safe place to go newbie tumblr tutorials and support answer that first question and um, if you like my videos please consider subscribing and that's it. Y'all have a great weekend and we'll catch you next time. See ya.